If you're interested into getting into rocketry, or maybe you've already launched a few rockets before, then look no further than this review of the Easy Mini Flight Computer, the perfect flight computer for beginners. Or is it? You may be thinking, what is a flight computer? Well, don't be worried because I'm going to explain what it is. A model rocketry flight computer is a small electronic device used in hobby rockets to help manage and track the rocket's flight. Think of it as the rocket's brain. It can measure things like altitude, speed, orientation, and many other things using sensors like accelerometers and barometers. Typically, it tracks the flight, recording how high and how fast the rocket goes, controls events such as activating a second stage, or deploying a parachute to ensure a safe landing. And it also logs data, enabling you to see what actually happened during the duration of the flight, because most of the time you can't actually see your rocket. In simple terms, it enables the user of the rocket to have more control of their rocket and learn more about the rocket's flight afterwards. Okay, so we're now all on the same page. So I can now get into the review. So the Easy Mini comes fully assembled in the post. It's got a very sturdy PCB, with well-mounted components. To many people, having a fully assembled flight computer come straight in one part may not seem like that much of a great thing. However, you don't understand how difficult it can be sometimes to have a flight computer come without being assembled, and to assemble it yourself can be a very frustrating and even dangerous process because you may damage your board, especially when you're working with something this small, because the flight computer is almost the size of my thumb. In fact, it's so small that the 9 volt battery that I'm using to power it is much bigger and it's almost 6 times the weight of the Easy Mini flight computer. But even though it's this small, it still packs a lot in it and it even has the space for 4 very well designed screw holes which are perfectly sized for most screws to be able to fit through them and attach into your rocket with ease. These quality features may not seem like much, but trust me, they really help you. As we look at the back of the flight computer, you can see that all of the components are mounted very well to the PCB, so you don't need to be worried about accidentally knocking one of them off with your thumb as you're brushing against it or as you install it into your rocket. Just make sure you don't screw on the screws too tight or you may be crushing some of the components or the USB adapter which you need to plug it into your computer. I will get more onto the computer aspect later. Moving on to the specifications, I could tell you the exact model numbers of the chips used inside of this, however it wouldn't mean much to you. If you need that you can search it up quite easily. So I'm going to talk about how it actually performs. The flight computer has no lag at all when used in software or when uploading data or downloading data from the flight computer. It happens relatively quickly for the size and price of the computer. It's got a very very low battery consumption so you don't need to worry about the battery dying during flight. It barely takes any battery to run this computer. If you're that worried, you can test your battery to make sure it's got charge in it. However, it barely takes any power to run this computer, as I've mentioned. It also works on a variety of airframes above 24mm. But 24mm is such a small airframe, you would never really use a flight computer to run anything on that airframe. So anything above a 24mm diameter will work perfectly with this flight computer. And don't be worried about exceeding the limitations of this computer when it comes to altitude, as it has an 100,000 feet max altitude. If this is your first dual deployment flight computer, or your second, or even your third, you probably will not be exceeding the altitude with most rockets. So there is no need to be worried about that. Next, I'm going to go on to the setup and the software which we use to run this flight computer. So I'm now on my computer as you can see, and I'm going to search up Altus Metrum. I could do an entire guide on how to download the software and how to use the software, but I'm going to do a quick overview. So you can download the software and use the guide on here. So I'll open the guide now. As you can see, the guide is very comprehensive. It's got many, many pages. It can tell you everything you need from the start to finish. And somehow, if this is not enough for you, there's always wikis that you can go online, such as the Rocketry Forum, which are always able to help with this flight computer. There are many people who know how this flight computer works on that wiki. Alternatively, you can call up your local shop and they should be able to tell you how to fix the issue, as this is a very common flight computer and it's very easy to troubleshoot. Opening the software, you can see that the software is quite basic, however it has all the features you need and it's very simple to understand. I am going to start off by configuring the altimeter using this button over here, and as you can see there are many features I can change, such as the deployment strategy, from dual deployment to firing the main charge twice, 
which is called redundant main. I can change the frequency. I can change how many flights are recorded at once on my computer. I can change how high the main parachute deploys are, how high the secondary parachute deploys are. All these things can be changed and it is absolutely amazing. But most computers have this functionality so it's not specific to this computer. As you can see the software is quite simple with a good interface and I'm going to move on to the next topic because if you need more of that you can always find it online very easily. Next is the price versus performance. So as I mentioned earlier this is quite an expensive flight computer compared to other entry level computers with the same features. And you might think about opting to buy another flight computer which comes much much cheaper but the thing is if you are a beginner in the hobby this flight computer is really ideal for you as it's very simple to use, very easy to understand and it's a very good starting point for anybody. It's got a good customer support community and there's not much more you could want from an entry level flight computer. So on to the conclusion. I found that the flight computer had a very high quality, easy to use right out of the box, very good software which is much better than others and excellent online manuals and various support options. So. I would rate this flight computer an 8 out of 10 due to these reasons. The reason I'm not giving it a 10 is because of the price. So to some people, the features this has are not very necessary. Some people are able to go through the work to assemble a flight computer or work with harder to use softwares. But if you are just entering the hobby, this can be disencouraging and it can be very annoying to do. So I would recommend going for one of these flight computers such as Altus Metrum Easy Mini as they are very simple you don't need a great understanding to be able to work with these and it's very very easy for any person to understand and pick up it's an amazing and it'll be fun for you it'll be a good experience and you won't have any problems you won't have to troubleshoot you won't have to sit there figuring out which part of the board you soldered on wrong at the end of the day you should go for a flight computer which suits your skill level and not your price point of course, you have to consider the price point to an aspect. However, if you just base it off the cheapest flight computer, you're going to end up with issues and you're going to be disencouraged from the hobby. That is all I have to say and thank you for listening to my review. I hope you enjoyed it and if there's any other questions you have, you can put them in the comments and I will answer them. If rocketry interests you and you're hoping to learn more about rocketry, I have a series available. You can watch the series and learn a lot about rocketry just from the little videos I put out most weeks. See you soon. And thank you for watching.